Okay, so before we get started, oh, there he is, I see him. Great. Um, before we get started, I... ...with Tong, who should be entering in a second. I think he's almost here. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, there we go. Hi. Hi, Fulani. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? I'm good here. It's 9 a.m. in the morning and it's very refreshing this weather. I can see. Um, okay, so welcome everybody that's in the live um, with Placement International. Today we have a very special guest with us, Tang, who is a current Day One participant in St. Regis Aspen. I'm sure you can see the snow behind him. And he's actually traveled all the way from Vietnam. So we'll be diving into his experiences challenges and the successes in his J1 program. Great. Yes. Do you want to um, introduce yourself a little bit? Yes. So uh, I'm very happy to be invited to this session to everybody. Uh, for me, uh, I have been a tour guide for more than nine months in Vietnam as a cycling tour guide, adventure one, a little bit of the food tour and a little bit of culture. And then after that, I got also some years in the office as a travel agent. But this is my very first, first time ever in the hotel. So I'm here. And then so, you know, like uh, for being in the States, it's been always like uh, my expectation since I was a little boy. And then so when I got into this program, when I knew about this program right here, I believe that it will be my last chance because that time it was when I was 35. Now I'm 36. So, and uh, for that time, I remember about the movie Anytime, Everywhere, All at Once. And Michelle Yeoh, when she was on the Oscar stage, and she told us, hey, don't let anybody to say that you passed your prime. And I know about the limit, the age of the J1, 35. So that time it was 34 something, almost 35. So I believe if I, if I didn't do that, so when? When's my chance? So that's why that I'm here. Okay, um, that's really good to hear that you're having a good time in the US and you took the opportunity and just grabbed it. I see someone asked a question about where you are and just to let you know that he is in St. Regis in Aspen, which is in Colorado, I think, Exactly, right? <laughs> it's uh, like a, a mountain area. I would say that it's uh, 8,000 feet above the sea level. Okay. So like a, a, a 2,500 meters. Mm -hmm. And right here, it has a very, you know, like um, uh, the air. For some very first people, it's a little bit hard to breathe. And uh, they have a little bit of reaction, like uh, blood up the nose, a little bit for about the first week. And after that, we'll get used to I'm in Okay. Okay, great. So I think we can start. So I'm just going to introduce myself again. And then just in case, you know, since more people have come, so I'm going to say hello to everybody again who have recently just joined. I'm Pulani, your, your Placement International host today, and we have Tang, who is currently a J1 participant at St. Regis in Aspen. As all of you guys know, you might know that Placement International provides an incredible opportunity for a cultural exchange through J1 programs. Participants like Tang get to work and experience life in the United States. Now we can hear about his background and how he himself at St. Regis a famous married uh, Yes. So can you hear me now? Yeah, we could. I can hear you perfectly. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so for me, I chose, I mean, that I, I really like the way that Placement International was doing because uh, for that time, the home process was really good. And then uh, the, the agent uh, was great. She asked me about what was my preference. Like what, what sort of thing that would like to do in a hotel or in the kitchen or something like that. I would say that in the hotel and then where about which state. Because for me, I chose the United States. So I said, okay, so I would do something different that I haven't been before. And I'm thinking, uh, why not somewhere with snow? And oh. yes, because where I come, I come from, that's Vietnam. It's a tropical area with no snow at all. Yeah, so I would like something a little bit challenging. And I chose the place where not many people chose uh, it, because it's quite cold. Now I'm 
in the sun. But uh, like about five minutes ago, I checked the temperature. It's uh, 40F. It means about five Celsius. It's wow. Like cold. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I like it a lot. And then also that time I thought, oh, maybe that I would be one of the very first Vietnamese doing skiing in the Olympics. Kind of, kind of good funny thinking. And then so I, I, I just, you know, uh, like applied for the sandwiches and I got accepted and everything was a little bit luckily that going smoothly. Okay. And can you tell us about your like day-to-day -day activities? How does your day go? What do you start with? What do you end with? And all of that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so for my department, uh, it's a kind of room division, but more specifically that I'm a butler. Okay. So we have, you know, like a lobby butler. That means any butler or any person in a hotel would be considered like ambassador of the hotel for sure. Okay. But the butlers will be the first first people ever to meet the guests. Mm -hmm. We will have uh, four different positions. Airport butler to see when the guests just land. Uh, lobby butler to greet the guests at the lobby and escort them to the room. And all the way, you may also introduce a little bit about like uh, the ritual of the hotel, for example, the champagne severing about the Bloody Mary tasting with the Dow Valley version, uh, the Re Dow Valley uh, snapper mm -hmm. version. Uh, and then, like, for example, I would say that uh, probably that you have tried the Bloody Mary many times, but you wouldn't know that Bloody Mary was founded in San Regis, New York. Oh. Yeah. And then, of course, I just invite them for the try sampling at around 11 a.m. every morning. And I Champagne separating at 5 p.m. and that was also very impressive to me because when I was looking on a brochure of the sandwiches, I saw the man like a, with the sword and like a, you know, slapping on the top of the bottle of champagne and then it was something very cool. Yeah. And then besides we have BSD, it means butler service desk, like uh, doing things with the computer or the like a hot line, hot center okay. to receive the calls and insert everything with the computers and then set up. And also butlers, general butlers would be the people who would do something like any request for the guests. But before meeting the guests there, we can also prepare the rooms with decoration, oh. like a balloons or some kind of towels just to make everything as good as possible, just to impress them. Or write some beautiful cards, a very, very signature ones to them. Uh, and we can also go out to buy some things as they request it. Uh, we can also deliver some kind of like a beverage. Uh, we could also help them in a kind of, you know, people here when it comes to sandwiches. Uh, the Ali, they would have almost everything different from what I feel from because they could be celebs, they could be governors, they could be people with lots of money, honestly. Mm -hmm. But the thing that they have the same thing like us, that is time. And when they come there and they stay in a very luxury hotel, that costs a lot for mm -hmm. a day. And then they want to save every minute. So we try to plan everything for them in advance. We can also help them in the kind of packing and packing service. Anything just to make them to be happy the most. And yeah, so it depends on my shift. I could be in any of the four positions oh. there. Okay. But yeah, it's kind of. So. Okay, that's really interesting to hear. Um, okay, the next question would be, um, what were your thoughts on the, the application process with Placement International? And was it straightforward? Like, how, how was it really? Uh, I could say that for the time, the first time that I saw a kind of the ads, you know, mm -hmm. there was a commercial ad just popping up into my face uh, about <laughs> February of last year. Okay. And then I, I didn't take so much time, maybe just about a week. And I started applying for that one, just having a talk, first talk first. And then so after that, I started applying. And by May, I got my visa interview mm -hmm. and was planning for uh, June. And everything was very, a little bit rushed, uh, but everything was very smooth. And then all of the process I like pretty much because when I click on a website, Everything shows about like first step, second step, and everything. Like from that one, we can track easily, like uh, how's everything going on, and then you know the way that the uh, grace, the uh, the placement international agent was asking me, and then also helping me, supporting me a lot. So I like it a lot. And the thing that I like 
pretty much was also about the way of payment because I could play that into five different times. So that was not much at once for me. So, mm -hmm. which is really good. That's really good to hear. And what about the visa process? Because I know it's also part of the long the process. How was that for you? And how long did it take for you to get it, the visa? For me, for that uh, process for the visa there, it was also quite, quite smooth. And, you know, like, because something like a letter of uh, uh, reference, I could also get that from, you know, like my, my, uh, my boss, my ex-bosses. And of course, that everything was doing perfectly at that time. And it didn't take much time for, even for that time, it was really high, high demand of interviewing in a state uh, consulate in Saigon, in the south of Vietnam. But for that, it took me fast because since I got the program, the training program, uh, I could even change this edges about the time, the date, like priority. And then with no uh, surcharge, no, no extra cost for that one from the consulate. And then, of course, I could interview very quickly. And yeah, I think that's good. That's really good to hear. Okay, so now let's talk about the J1. Has it contributed to your personal growth? And if so, how? Um, about the J1 right here, uh, actually, I believe that it contributes a lot because first, I could use some kind of like the past experience. Mm -hmm the J1 to greet the guest because for me at anywhere any position I would consider I'm ambassador of that place to greet the guest to greet any person that I meet mm -hmm. so I apply exactly the same way of thinking there to the J1 right here but for this hotel here when I get in I could feel that I could uh, meet lots of people all, all kinds of people and especially from different culture mm -hmm. so I learned the way how to adapt every single person all of the best for that one and of course i also got the chance to meet different managers you know like even gm or agm area manager mm -hmm. she also got to the meal with us and then to ask to talk or something like that and with that one i can also learn about the way of speaking the way of behave like for example when we see the guests we are not saying hi uh, what's how's going on something like that like good morning sir yeah. and last name and for that one, that's the reason why that whenever I have any request, I would ask my colleagues about, colleagues about, hey, what's the last name? Because mm -hmm. I always address them with the last name. And since of that one, you know, everything here needs to be in the very detail. For example, because we can also do beverage and then with the cups and the teapot, something like that. So they should be shiny. Yeah. And then for champagne glasses, to the guests, they should be also very shiny, something like that. And so with the very small details there, I can also contribute to my, you know, like my, my way of even that, not now, but also in the future to be more careful in every single thing. Mm -hmm. And I believe that one of the most like proud thing of me, that was the thing that I got here. What, what does that say? It's a star staff. The certificate is presented to Tang Wing of the St. Regis Aspen Resort in recognition of exceptional service. Forbes Travel Guide Rating Evaluation 2022. Wow. It was That's given really by Forbes. Yeah. And for this one here, I mean, that because the way that people, every single person to meet every single guest at the hotel should be, I would say that should be the same. That means that we can say that mm, no, that guess is mm, or this guess is uh, really good, not like that from the first sight. So the way for me is I would always be happy with every single one, and I would try to give more extra information, like not only about to deliver something to them, but we also ask about what's the plan to do because they come here for vacation. So that should be for any kind of trekking, any kind of skiing, or snowmobile, or for some special anniversaries or something like that. And we could also use our own experience. For me, I like to go around to discover things. So I know about some trails or I know about some kind of like recommendations of restaurants, I would give them. And of course, they'll be very impressed mm -hmm. with information, even the very small thing that we give. 
and then that's really appreciated by them and since that one that makes them even remember your names for example i will always address uh, my name is hang mm -hmm. for anything that i'm more than happy to assist you yeah and uh, so I, especially like tang it means victory from vietnamese so they know that i'm vietnamese and then the victory because i would say that i'm the only vietnamese around 60 miles away from here <laughs> so even that they can't remember my name they can remember my country and then that also makes a good point for them to give the good plus to this hotel about and also about my culture for example and i believe that with something so far it makes a good contribution to my career path for hospitality for anything with uh, people because it, it doesn't matter about what specific job that i would be in the future it can be in hotels it can be in anything or it can be in another different field. But with something from this background or with something that I learned, I believe that that helps a lot. I think it does. It also seems like you go the extra mile and I think that certificate you got really goes for it. So that's really impressive. Okay. Thank you. So the next question we'll ask is maybe could you share some challenges that you faced during your experience there? And how did you turn them into learning opportunities? Ah uh, yes. As I told you, the first first thing when I stepped to Aspen, I recognized that I'm the only Vietnamese here. Yeah. So when I'm looking around, I could see that everybody had their own communities. Mm -hmm. For example, they could be like a Filipino community, it could be Indonesian, it could be Indian mm -hmm. or like Spanish speaking community. Mm -hmm. And I'm the only one. But you know, for me, I try to communicate with every single person. So I try to be also be friends with them. And since that one, I got even more friends. Even though I'm the only Vietnamese here, mm -hmm. but I could become a friend with any, any community very well. And so the second thing is about uh, food. I would say food. Food, food is quite challenging. The food? Yes, the okay. food. Yep. Because where I come from, Vietnam, we eat a lot of veggie. And, and veggie here is really expensive, of course. It's the state. Compared with meat, I would say veggie is quite expensive. And compared with the other places, Aspen is one of the most expensive places in the state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for the first time, you know, I got a bad habit of converting everything into my currency. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, 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 that's too much. <laughs> but then, you know, after one week, I stopped that. Okay, I will convert. Okay, with this uh, Stephen hourly, that would be good for me to buy this amount of food. And then I would cook food myself. And But that's also the good chance for me to invite more friends, more people to join. And sometimes uh, we got some kind of anniversaries or uh, birthdays of some mm -hmm. friends. I could even join them and I could cook one or two dishes which was also really good fun for a cross culture. Yeah. And since that, we found out that some food from this country will be similar to the others. And mm -hmm. then we got also some more good stories to tell. Yeah. And the third one would be about the time. Like, because we work in the hotel and sometimes the schedule will be given not for a whole month. It will be given just about like one week in advance or okay. even less than one week in advance. So I could work, for example, now it's 9 a.m., but I just finished my overnight shift. Mm -hmm. The overnight shift was from 11 p.m. until 7.30. Yeah. And then so, so we could change the shift a lot. So we need to be good enough to adapt to that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, that's quite difficult. And also, the fourth thing is you need to be patient with everything. Because here, for example, we are in Aspen. And... The other places, I don't know, but here in Aspen, they have quite good public bus transportation. But because of we have only half a year of snow and icy. So because of that, buses could be late sometimes. Mm -hmm. And you could even stand outside sometimes or at the bus station in the cold. So you need to get well prepared with the clothes mm -hmm. uh, and also be patient with anything because we know that that's the weather. We cannot blame on the others. We cannot blame on the bus, bus driver or something like that. 
and we just need to make a call to tell the hotel, sorry, we are a little bit late for how many minutes, something like that. And everybody understands that, and that that would be all right. Um, yeah, I think some kind of uh, challenge like that. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Um, okay. okay, so the last question really. Um, do you feel like you would recommend Placement International to any other young professionals looking to enhance their careers internationally? Uh, actually, that not until today when you ask this question, I would recommend or not recommend because I have been recommending few of my friends <laughs> to uh, Placement International mm -hmm. because I believe, I would say honestly that compared with the colleagues in the hotels, they could come here from different sponsors. Placement International will be the most ex expensive, I would say so. But I would say that I will receive the very, very, very deserved, very worth services. Everything is very clear. And like, for example, for me at the time, after finishing all of the paperwork there, uh, I got given about 28 different offers, 28 different offers. And I applied to two or three places, the St. Regis uh, Deer Valley and St. Regis Aspen, uh, and another place I forgot. And yeah, since that, I, I got the interview. But some others, they only, they, they told me that they, they didn't have any choice. They got only one choice. And since that, I thought, mm, is that all right? Because we need more choices. It doesn't matter about if you're experienced or not but you should have many different choices and you can also just apply a you talk or something like that. And since that, I appreciate Placement International a lot and that makes a really good point for PI to me. And that's why I also have been recommending lots of friends. That's really good to hear. We hope your friends will also come too. Yes. <laughs> So thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. And now I think it should be time for our viewers to ask some questions, just a few. So if anybody has questions, please don't hesitate to ask any. I'm more than happy to assist for any mm -hmm. questions. Let's see. There were so many questions before as well. So let's see. Oh, someone would like to know how the weather is there. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Now, you know, it, it's the 4th of April, and in the other places, that could be considered spring. It's sunny. It looks spring, but actually that everywhere. On the street, there's no, no snow, but on the mountains, where the ski resorts, here we have four mountains for skiing, mm -hmm. and all of the four ones there, they still have snow, and that's still really good to ski. And I believe that tomorrow there'll be snow dropping for about more than 20 hours or something wow. like that. So it looks sunny today. It looks clear today, but tomorrow it could be again. I would say that it seems uh, Christmas is coming again. <laughs> yeah. And then because we are working in the ski resort, so for our, um, you know, for a year we have two closures. So before Christmas and also. Uh, I mean that around uh, October to November and all, for about two or three weeks and now it's going to be from beginning of May for two or three weeks too and it's a time like to give the rest for the whole Aspen. Every business will be closed and then also so for the hotel they will also give you the chance opportunities to do the task force. It means that you go out to different places, to different properties, to work even different states. For example, for that time, the last time, I was not going on task force because I used that one for my birthday and I was doing my vacation mm -hmm. to California, all around from North to South California. Mm -hmm. And I flew from there to uh, Louisiana. So I spent around five, four, three, around 12, 12 nights in different places. Mm -hmm. And that was really great. But my friends, they also got sent to Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, they got sent to Denver, they got sent to Washington too. And of course, it depends on the places, but most of the flight tickets, they could be covered in that one. Oh. And so if they send you out for task force, 
it's good for you because you have chance to discover the new places. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you don't want to go, you can stay in a hotel to work. And because even there's no guests, but there are some works to to be done. Yeah. And like a, to maintain and to keep everything tidy, kind of. So it's great time even during the closure. Okay, perfect. Um, could you just explain a little bit about the task force thing? I'm not sure if everybody understood what that was. Okay, the task force, that means like a sandwich's husband belongs to Marriott. Mm -hmm. And for that time, like about a month before the closure, we will sign up for going on a task force. And then so it's not guaranteed because uh, they, since that time, there will be the deadline and then they will connect to different properties of Marriott to say, hey, do you need more people or something mm -hmm. like that? And then they will send you there. And so when you get over there, for example, to Denver, Denver is five hours away from here. Okay. So uh, you will work in different, for example, you can work in Rispan and you can work in another different, like uh, different something yeah. of the Marriott also. Okay. And since that, you also get uh, paid with the stipend. You can also get uh, supported with the housing, something, and also with meals and it's really good experience from my friends. I hope that for the upcoming closure, I will have chance to go on the task force too, to another new place, even for two or three weeks. That's still pretty impressive. Okay, great. Okay, uh, somebody asked, how are you adapting to the American culture? You know, American culture, it's the United States. It means people coming from all around the world. Mm -hmm. It's not only the native people here. So we are one among them. And then of course that it's a little bit difficult for me at the first time, mostly about the food. The food. Yeah. It could, yep. The yep. food. Yep. Um so something like the food in America would be, you know, burgers, fried, but it depends on the area. Some places they have more more I would say that like like a more mixed, diverse culture, they will have even more types of food. Uh, but for the American culture, I mean, that it's good that we learn the way that everybody in Aspen right here, when we go out, we say hi to even strangers. Oh. And we, okay. yeah, friendly. hi, have a good day. And especially, which impressed me a lot, everybody was going out with a dog, mm -hmm. with at mm -hmm. least one dog. And like for San Regis Aspen, uh, that's, Sorry, I will go back to sandwiches. Mm -hmm. We are probably saying that we are very, very dog-friendly hotel. So okay. we have dogs all the time, and even our ambassador mascot is a kitty. It's a, like a, a modern Bernese dog, and he is around 200 pounds, like a 80, 90 kilos, okay. very big one. Yeah. And then he's spoiled a lot by the guests and also by the staff. <laughs> because we like to give treats. So the thing is, if you like to meet people, uh, if when you get here, you, you will greet more people, use my, and then you will uh, ask for something, ask for help, or you help somebody. And it's the thing I learned is, if you see something happen, you are not only going straight there. To, for example, if somebody falls, you cannot just go out there and then you you help them immediately. You should ask first. Everything should be done with the first we ask. You ask them if they need help. Are you okay? Uh, anything that I may ask is you, something like that. And just to make everything come and mm -hmm. everything is very clean here in the place where, where I am. Very, very clean about the fresh air, about no trash on the street. And yeah, and I like the culture here a lot because they have lots of festivals. They have the festivals for the local pe from the local people, like uh, some kind of fruit, some kind of veggie, or they have some kind of X Games Winter Olympics. So that's the biggest of the world, where all of the like professional athletes they also got here. So you will learn how people like to skiing, some kind of sports, and since that you will go out more because if you are not going out, you will feel that a little bit different from uh, others. But but in a kind of like a, a bad way. So it should be good to go out and to join with them with something like a sport activities with some kind of like a summer music festival. And 
So my plan is in uh, mid-June, I will go to another one, which is a kind of like concert with foam. So they will spray, you know, bubbles and foam, and then they have music from 7 p.m. until midnight, something like that. So I'll use some of my day, uh, days off for that. Okay, nice. Let's see if we have another question. We can just do one more question and then um, we can call it a day. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Oh, I actually have one. Um, do you feel like a bit homesick while you're there or are you good? Uh, honestly, I would say that I'm very homesick, but you know, it seems that with this kind of job or any kind of job that you need to be balanced yourself, because mm -hmm. if you are too much thinking about that, you can't do anything. I know sometimes the people, they only stay at home because they feel mm, that's something not for me. And then I've been tired after like working in a hotel and then no, I just want to stay in, in room. So, but if you go out, if you do things more with the others, you will cure the homesickness a lot. Mm -hmm. And so what I miss is my family, of course, food, of my family. Even I can cook, but I still miss my food in, from Vietnam. I miss the vibe from Vietnam because where I come from, the city, Saigon, never sleep. So yeah. always, always very like a bustling and then with, you know, lots of kind of good fun. And so it's a bit, bit homesick here, but I think we need to accept it because here is what we have been expecting for. We like to expecting some kind of the new adventure, new experiences. And there's no reason why that we are not getting that because we have only one year here. Or sometimes the people, they get here only for half a year. So it's time flies. Yeah. Okay. And then, sorry, I have one last one and then we'll <laughs> cut it. Um, how is your rent? Like, how much is the rent? Is it covered? Like, how does that work? Uh, okay. So for the rent here, again, it's one of the most expensive places. So for the rent form, it's a, I would say that the house is very beautiful. It's a, uh, I will show you around first. It's surrounded by a mountain and it looks like a resort here too. You see mm -hmm. that with the chairs here? Yeah. yeah, so it has a really good view here. It has a fully equipped kitchen. Uh, and then, like, of course, uh, for my, my room, I will share with another one. So there will be two people in one okay. room. And for the range, is $800 a month. Okay. But uh, everywhere in Aspen, it's quite high. So it's really hard for us to find housing ourselves. Mm -hmm. So thank you for Facebook uh, International because you have also cooperated with uh, the sandwiches and then to provide the kind of the good housing for us yeah. and for this one right here uh, I know that 800 seems high but of course that you know with the paycheck be, be, before like sending the paycheck to us that would be deducted and then that's the good way for you because every month you can save also the last of the statement without thinking too much about the renting mm -hmm. and uh, I think if people have thought about are we uh, I mean that are we getting lost about money, about the investment for this experience or not? My answer is no. You are not getting lost anything. So you, Even if you cannot make much, but there's nothing lost. Mm -hmm. It's quite okay for you to live daily and for you to experience anything. And then you can also save something for your own. And don't think, I mean, that of course, everything is about how much but it's really deserved great okay then thank you so much for joining us i really appreciate it and you've been great today we learned so much i even learned a lot <laughs> and thank you thank you a lot for uh, like uh, listening to my sharing and i hope that you will think and you will do because if you are not doing now you will don't know exactly when you will do that so mm -hmm. just grab this opportunity and just get to anywhere to the States or to some new places mm -hmm. that open a new career path to you. Thank you again. <laughs>
Okay, thank you also everybody else for joining the session and thank you to Tang. And if you have further questions, if you want to apply to come to the USA, feel free to ask any on the DMs, really. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good time. Thank you. Have a good day. Goodbye.